Kanisa nataka kuwasalimu katika jina la Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo I want to greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ Praise the Lord Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen Welcome to the house of the Lord today So without much ado let me just uh, uh, invite you to the hearing of God's word in second peter second peter chapter number 3 our reading was done from second peter chapter number 3 first number 14 and as you open as you tap your phone as you also maybe tap your ipad let me say that uh, second peter is the last letter of peter to write and in fact uh, in chapter number 1 Peter is talking about uh, a soon departure. Hebu watu wa media mtupatie chapter 1 13 to 15. Uh, second Peter chapter 1 uh, first 13 to 15 it's good to take note of that. That. The Bible says I think it is right to refresh your memory as long as I live in the tent of this body uh, because I know that I will soon put it aside. It's talking about a soon departure. Yes, our Lord Jesus Christ has made clear to me. He, re- he had received a revelation, then I'm, uh, and I will make every effort to see that after my departure, you will always be able to remember these things. So that is uh, just part of introduction that uh, this is uh, the last letter of uh, Peter. This is uh, not uh, the young Peter. This is an old Muse. He had seen many things uh, in his life and uh, it is uh, now time that uh, he is uh, writing to encourage Christians and the church and we are we are we are looking at uh, chapter number 3 but I want to say that uh, the whole uh, uh, there is what we call uh, the, the the survey of second peter Uh, chapter 1 is about uh, is about uh, guidance in growing faith if you are reading uh, second peter chapter 1 uh, it is about uh, guidance in growing faith all christians chapter 2 is about uh, dangers involved in growing faith and uh, chapter 3 is uh, off for growing faith matumaini kwa imani ambayo inaendelea na kukua And so we are in chapter number 3. We are in chapter number 3, first number 14, all the way now to number 18. And I commence uh, reading. Uh, I commence reading. So then, uh, dear friends, since uh, you are looking forward to this, make every effort to be found spotless, blameless, and uh, at peace with him. Bear in mind that our Lord's patience means salvation just as our dear brother paul also wrote you with the wisdom that god gave him he writes the same way in all his letters speaking in them of these matters his letters contain some things that are hard to understand which ignorant and unstable people distort as they do the other scriptures to their own destruction And then uh, therefore dear friends since you already know this be on your guard so that you may not be carried away by the error of lawless men and fall from your secure position but grow in the grace and uh, knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to him uh, be glory both now and uh, forevermore and the charge is say now i was saying hiyo amen sio ile ya kulazimisha unajua kuna wengine wanaambia kanisa waseme amen hiyo imeandikwa kwa biblia wale mko na niv so and the charge is say amen. amen let's pray together father in the almighty name of our lord and our savior jesus christ we count this opportunity that you have given us as a blessing that we have received from above That is why we call the moment we are now experiencing as present because it is a gift from above. And therefore Lord uh, as we continue King of Glory to worship our worship uh, as a lot our worship as singing 
our worship as a time to listen from your word. I am praying, King of glory, as I give thanks uh, for bringing your people into this sanctuary today, that they may hear the message of your word. Dear Lord, I am praying that uh, for the word that is before us today, yes, in my humanness, I may not fathom the deep things that you want us to know, but by the power and the leading of your Holy Spirit, I pray that, Lord, you bring about uh, the revelation and also the message that you want us to hear this day. Many of us have come with an expectant heart to hear a word that is going to bless them, King of glory. Oh, I pray that, uh, God, you speak unto all of us because we are listening. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray and all of us we say... Amen, amen, amen. I want to propose uh, our topic of the day and uh, uh, from the passage that we have read. Now, today I want to talk about uh, a topic that I have given in the title, Christian Faith in Unpredictable Times. Christian Faith in Unpredictable Times. And uh, uh, this message, when I was uh, praying, uh, you know, uh, some, sometimes uh, you wonder how pastors prepare. But I want to tell you, as a pastor, you prepare while you are driving, you prepare while you are sleeping, while you are... Mungu anaweza kakuamusha usiku, sasingini akuongeleshe. So this week when I was uh, praying, uh, and as I was also interacting with the issues uh, that are happening, uh, the Lord gave me this message. And uh, we are living in times that are unpredictable. We look at the things that are happening. And uh, we realize that our times are unpredictable. We are living at a time that uh, social relationships are under attack. Muse na mama ambaye walianza vizuri sana. Siku hizi... Their marriage relationship in Mekua, a battlefield. May the Lord come through for you. Can I hear an amen? Yes, in Mekua, a battlefield. Unpredictable times and uh, seasons. We are living at a time that uh, we have a government in place. But looking at uh, the relationship between uh, the government and uh, the opposition, and I agree that we are all Kenyans, uh, but we cannot deny the political instability that we have in our time. And so we are there, times uh, and uh, seasons that are unpredictable. We are there, we don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. Baba arrived, and after arriving, Agasema Yakwamba Tuesday, Mandamano resumes. We are wondering wale watao ni kama bado wataenda biashara ama wataenda kazi, especially wale ambao, their offices and uh, their businesses and uh, uh, their work is uh, kwa CBD. And so those are the times that we are in. Unpredictable times. Uh, times that are challenged. We thank God for the blessings of the rains. There are seasons we go without rains. And we find ourselves in a family of some kind. The church of God is not left behind. Yesterday I was wondering. Between the Kaya elders of the Mijikenda and the church. Nani anawesa kutakasa musito wa shakaola. Ni kanisa ama ni traditional elders. Kanisa ndiyo wanaitaji kutakaza. But kanisa ndiyo imechafua. Watu ambao wanaitanishwa na mungu. Ndiyo wanasemekana wamechafua musito wa shakaola. Nani ambaye can do cleansing? Who can do cleansing? That is why we need to reevaluate our faith. We need to redefine our faith. Because the Kaya elders are ready to start cleansing over a hundred, and maybe the numbers are going to increase. Over a hundred people have died and buried, 
and uh, that is something that is very strange 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 times that are unpredictable we live in times that the people are changing watu ambao walipenda mungu they are changing pastors who loved the lord but they are changing anybody can change we live in times that uh, church elders uh, who served the Lord passionately are changing. Deacons are changing. Ushers are changing. Something is happening in the church and the Lord must do something. Can I hear an amen? amen. Unpredictable times. Uh, relationships are uh, under attack. May the Lord help us. Christian faith in unpredictable times. False teachings are a reality in our time. We thought that wale wakusa mafuta, wakusa mafuta na wakifagio na wakusa anointing oil na maji ndio wamezidi, lakini sasa kuna wengine wamezidi sana. Kuna wengine wamezidi sana. And uh, I was also wondering, you know, uh, lawyers who are kazi. And uh, I was wondering that uh, yesterday, our, one of us, uh, our, 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 our colleague in the ministry, Ezekiel, sasa amechukua lawyer wawili, wamutete, mungu wako wapi. You know, Paulo na Sila walitetewa na mungu. Lakini wakati sasa tunatengemea watu watutete and I could listen the, the language now from the lawyers nikajua hapa kitachukua mwelekeo ingine. Kitachukua mwelekeo ingine. When men are out to defend us maybe it can also be allowed because we want interpretation of the law. But I want to tell you there comes times and the seasons when men and the women of God are defended by God himself. Mungu mwenyewe anakutetea na inasemekana unaatia na unaenda zako. I want to talk about the Christian faith in uh, unpredictable times. I wish I had uh, time to talk a lot. And so the church is under attack. Peter is writing uh, you know, First Peter is telling us about uh, persecution and uh, suffering. Peter is addressing Christians who are suffering and uh, persecuted. But the second Peter is addressing uh, issues rising from within the church. When believers are not committed to live out their faith in God. When Christians are not committed to live out their faith in God. That is what uh, Peter is addressing uh, in uh, the second Peter letter. And I want to say that uh, since our faith is exposed uh, to unpredictable times and seasons, uh, our faith, uh, each one of us individually, we will be tested in some way. We are all here as a team. But I want to tell you, individually, we are tested by the Lord differently. Kila moja wetu kuna kitu anapitia ambacho, sio yule mwingine anapitia. We will be tested differently as far as our faith in God is concerned. Many Christians today, their love for God is growing cold. Wa Christo wengi leo hii, their love for God their love for serving the Lord is growing cold. The church of God is under attack from within. Kanisa limevamiwa kutoka ndani. False teachers are not far away, even from within us. Wako. Reverend Mwaki, uh, sijui kama unajua. Kuna, kuna siku moja tukiwa kwa imbaada hapa, mama alikuja na maji kwa glass. Tuko kwa imbada tunaendelea lakini mama amebeba maji kwa glass. Na tukiomba anainua maji yake. Hata watu wa Ezekieli wako hapa. Watu wa Ezekieli wako hapa. Hiyo hiyo gossip nilisikia. Hapa kumi tuna uh, umoja na endanga ya isi umoja nikipitia tu mimi ni mtu wa Ezekiel. Eh? Watu wa Ezekieli bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wewe unasikia? <laughs> Wako hapa. 
And you know, hiyo maafa iko huko, majority ni women. Please women, women be firm in your faith. Wa mama waliokoka na wakamfuata Yesu. Wachana na hii mambo. Nambi wa maombi ya huko matungulu hiuse. Wewe ndiyo wakwanza kupele kwa huko. Reverend Mwoki and Reverend Iluve cannot afford to pray for you. Lazima upelekewe na mbi Matungulu Hills. Lazima upelekewe na mbi Kitui kule bitine kumbi umepelekwa kwa munganga. Watu wanapelekwa kwa wanganga hapa na on Sunday munakuja hapa mumevalia suti vizuri na kitenge ingine you appear spiritual. When it deep inside you are rotten spiritually. It's high time that as a church of God, we change and live for God. Christian faith in an unpredictable times. What to ago got to and in the ingine mbaya sana. Mama moja, what I say me, Ayuko, she was here many years since me Peter. Lakini, she came to me when she was very injured spiritually. Daniake, can you be a pastor? Kuna mama aliniambia na nipeleka maali ni kaombewe ni pate mtoto. Kamulisa ulipelekwa wapi? Haka niambia baba ndogo. Sasa wacha ni kuulize. Baba ndogo ni maali ya kwenda ukaombewe na mtu wako baba ndogo upate mtoto. Hata abadali upelekwe njia ya Karen lakini baba ndogo. Sasa alipoenda huko baba ndogo. Haka enda haka pata mzee ambaya mevaa kofia na mejifunga kabuti. Na kaongea na yeye Huyo ndiye nambi Bada kuongea na yeye Haka muambia Mungu hamesikia haja ya moyo wako Na haka muambia It is time now To receive your miracle Na hili u receive your miracle Let's now go to the holy of holies Tawazawa kuna rumu ingine hapa Holy of holies Anaita hivyo Kuingia holy of holies Kumbi ule mzee alikuwa na kabuti Ndiyo ilikuwa tunguo peke yake imemufunika. Mama kuona kabuti imetolewa, haka toka mbio, haka kimbia. There comes a time when you need to run for your faith. There comes a time. Na watu wa mendanganyika, na watu wa mefanyiwa mambo. Wacheni ni waambie, watu wa mefanyiwa mambo. Wengine, they have been initiated into religions through sexual intercourse. Iyo ni mambo imeendelea. Some women cannot anymore relate with their husbands and feel anything because something happened. Christian faith in unpredictable times, we need to watch out. Some men cannot relate with their wives anymore because their potent has been taken away. And so may the Lord help us, we are there. Since our faith is exposed to unpredictable times and seasons, we must be alert in observing the following. Number one, guard your faith against the false teachers and the false teachings. Sita kuwa na munda mwingi sana. I want just to tell you the points and I finish. Guard your faith. Guard your faith. You know this idea of guarding our faith has to do with you possess an understanding. There is an understanding that you possess that is guarding your ways, that is guarding your character, that is guarding your behaviors, that is guarding your tongue. Guard your faith against the false teachers and the false teachings. But many of us say, we are living careless. Unapelekwa pelekwa, jia yoyote ile. Peter is uh, sensitive about uh, the church and what is happening uh, from within the church. That many Christians are uh, being taken away from their way of faith. Uh, he is exhorting them in verse number 17. Uh, to partie watu wa media, verse number 17 ambao uh, ndiyo hiko na uh, maumbiri ayo. Ya kwamba, now this screen has gone off. Uh, First number 17 in a semi akwamba. Therefore, dear friends, since you already know these, be on your guard. Be on your guard. Be on your guard. And that brings to us our first point. That guard your faith against 
false teachers and the false teachings. Uh, Peter is saying, dear friends, uh, since you already know this, uh, that there is a lot that is going on and times are unpredictable, be on your guard uh, so that you may not be carried away by the error of lawless men and the fall from your secure position. When we are saved and in Christ Jesus, that is our secure position. We are secure there. Me, me, I am secure. You are secure if you are saved and in Christ Jesus. That is why people like David would say in Psalm 119, verse number 10 and 11, that uh, how can a young man keep his way pure? By living according to your word. I have kept your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. You are going to guard your faith when you know what the scripture says. Many Kenyans today do not know their rights. That is why utaingia ofisi singine na utatumewa vimbaya sana. Lakini when you know your rights, you can even confront a government officer. You can even confront a police officer. Na unamuambia, it is my right constitutionally to do this and that. Na atakuambia, go your way. But some of us, uh, we are uh, taken under advantage because uh, we don't know our rights. Uh, even in our Christian walk, we are uh, taken under advantage by the devil because we don't know our spiritual and uh, divine uh, rights. Peter is saying, uh, guard your faith against the false teachers uh, and the false teachings. Uh, be on your guard. Be on your guard. That is our point number one. Point number two. Since our faith is exposed to unpredictable times and seasons, we must be alert in growing in the grace and the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Peter is calling upon Christians to grow in the grace and the knowledge of Jesus Christ. And you know, upon your kunashida, that uh, many speakers today, waumbiri wengi leo hii, they are out uh, to make sure they, uh, that uh, they have earned uh, fame and uh, popularity. Fame and uh, popularity is what many preachers today are after. But uh, Peter having an experience, uh, na kiwa meumbiria watu wengi, one time he preached and uh, 3,000 people came to the Lord. Uh, but he never took any fame. He's calling upon Christians to grow, not in him. You know, in Greek, there is what we call the spear of quality in Greek. So, what is informing our growth? What must be the quality of our growth? The interpretation of this particular passage, number 18, is that we must be growing, yes, but in the grace uh, and the knowledge of uh, Christ Jesus. Can I hear an amen? amen. To go up and reverend Mwoki, but uh, with us we don't take any fame and any popularity. Tunataka, yes, waonekane. Yes, waonekane. Yes, wakuinua. We are preaching uh, Christ is sent that messenger. Peter is uh, preaching a uh, uh, Christ is sent that messenger. Please, uh, it is important that you grow, but you cannot grow unless you are born. You must be born in order to grow. Even a tree, unless it is planted and it has died as a seed, na ikamea and you itandelea na kukua. Some of us, we are not born in Christ Jesus. Nicodemus ya kaangalia maisha yake hivi na kaona nothing was happening there was no inner change and he went to look for Jesus in the night na wakati alimtafuta Yesu Kristo Yesu akamwambia unless you are born again many of us we are struggling with the egocentric we are struggling with our own selves because in the first place you are not born again you are struggling with your attitude you cannot relate well with other believers you cannot forgive your wife you cannot forgive your husband because in the first place you are not born again where to mutu wa kawaida growing in the grace means that Christ is changing your life 
progressively. Can I hear an amen? There's no way you can be in Christ and uh, instead of changing for, for better, you are changing for worse. No, you kuna watu ambao, instead of changing for better, even in the church, even the church leaders, uh, instead of changing for better, you are changing for worse. There must be a change from inside. And so we need to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Eh, that at the end of the day you ask yourself, Yesu ni wapi unaitaji ni mbandilike? Jesus, where in my life? Where in my attitude? Where in my behaviors? Do you want me to change? Because eh, kuna shida. Na hapo ndiyo unapata ya kwamba watu wengi they are in the church but they have no faith about the church. You know, in theology there is what we call monotheism and polytheism. Now, monotheism is uh, a single belief in the Lord. But polytheism is a mixture of many beliefs. Watu wako makanisani, but they are practicing polytheism. Not monotheism. Not believe in one God. They also believe in God, but they are also believing in witch doctors. They are visiting witch doctors. They are consulting in diviners to know their lives. We must draw a line between our faith and the polytheism and the believe in God. Can I hear an amen? Come on, Barikiwa, can you clap for Jesus? We must decide where are we Christians today are carried away. By every era of teaching. The other day, wanakimbia kasarani. Wakisikia uh, Joshua Selman yanakuja Kenya. Nyayo stadium wako uko. But I want to tell you, where you think God is. Unajua siku moja, Musa akapele kwa mulemani wa Sinai. Na mungu akapita na different kinds of uh, sounds. Lakini, where there was thunder, yeah, he was told ata mungu wa yuko hapo. Until later, kwa pitia some small still uh, voice. Sambao ilipita kidogo tu. Na that is the time God confirmed that uh, mungu wa likuwa kwa iyo. So, where you think that uh, this is where God is. Uh, some of you, you will find yourselves uh, uh, going away from the Lord. Ukiwa umeacha njia sabwana, umeenda mbali, umepotoka. Grow in the grace uh, and knowledge of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, you can grow. You know, lakini watu wengine watakuwa na mnagani when they have no time to uh, search the scriptures like the Bereans and they get to understand. You know, uh, maombi ikiitishwa utaki kwenda maombi. Tukisema tukuje uh, Bible study, you don't want Bible study. We need more of Bible study than a prayer fellowships. By the way, wa Kristo wengine wanaomba vitu wa wajui. They need more of correction from God's word than more time in prayer. Mungu wa kitu saidia. Grow! Growing is very important. That is our second G. And our third G. Uh, equal up past number 18. Grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, to him be glory both now and uh, forever. To him the personal pronoun him refers to Jesus. To him be the glory. So what is our point? I am saying in point number three that uh, glorify Jesus Christ in your faith always. And Peter is saying to him, to Jesus Christ, be glory and forever more. To Jesus Christ, be glory both now and forever. You know, Mungu wa kitu saidia reverend. Jana tulikuwa na our rededication of construction work. Mungu wa kitu saidia that wacha tuseme in the next maybe two to three years. Tumalize hiyo kathe ndro yetu pale chini. Tukue na kanisa mzuri. Simati ambao imemalizika na kila kitu hiko sawa. Even at that time when we shall be there, the glory is not ours. The glory belongs to Jesus. And some of us today are taking the glory of God. When you look at your life and where you are, some men are 
just uh, holding there West and saying, don't you see I am a man, if I am able to raise this kind of a house, don't you see I am a man, if I am able to cause things to be like this. But Peter is saying at the end of the day, when you grow in the grace, when there is growth in your life, when you are growing in the grace and the knowledge, you know, Growth spiritually also comes with a financial breakthrough. Na kuna watu wamebarikiwa financially. Kuna watu ambao they are swimming in the ocean of a financial breakthrough. When you grow in the grace and the knowledge of Christ, humble yourself and say to him, Christ Jesus, be glory both now and forevermore. Can I hear an amen? Father, in Jesus' name. Follow your word to accomplish your purpose, the lives of these dear ones. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.